uh, dear students today we are going to discuss about the next eml diagram its er diagram in the previous video i explained how to draw the er diagram for student management system so in this video i will explain how to draw the er diagram for employee management system when you are taking the different concepts for any kind of uml diagram you will get clear idea about how to draw each diagram with the help of the tools available in the star uml software so today i will explain how to draw the er diagram for employee management system in the er diagram first you have to think about that any kind of projects what kind of entities you are going to use how many attributes we have to include for each entity and what kind of relationships we have to create for each entity so this is the very very most important part when you are going to draw that er diagram so first i am going to create the first entity in name as employee and followed by we have to list out the list of attributes relevant to the employee table right so first i will start from that employee id employee name and gender you can add many attributes related to that the employee table or employee entity just i will list out the major attributes for our employee table here after that the employee id name gender date of joining department address mail id phone number so this kind of information it's a basic the details always we will get or we are going to use it for our employee table right even you can add the type of attribute and the length of each attribute what kind of the key you are going to use even you can add line by line or just you can add all type of attributes then just you can choose related the type and the length of each attribute so once you list out all the the names in the table right now we know that what kind of the data type we have to use it for each attribute either the employee id is an integer employee name as a worker a gender either male or female date of joining we have to use the date data type and department is an worker address is also worker phone number always we use the 10 digits of our phone number mail id it may be as again worker right now here the employee id is a primary key in that employee table right the next one second entity i am going to use for the employee management system it's the the department which department as an employee going to work as a department we have the employee id sorry department id department name followed by a location and for the another uh, attribute now i am going to add department id department name location even if we want to add few more attributes we can add it at the end just i will ignore that the fourth attribute now so after completing our diagram if we need few more attributes we could add at any time now as a department id is an integer 
and even we know that the department id it will be going to be a primary key and the name of the department is an worker and location is also we have to use as a worker right and the next entity the project involved in a particular employee the employee it's connected with any part of the department of an organization and each employee they are going to associated with the the project right so as a project id project name the duration of the assigned project and project uh, starting date ending date and project project delivery date so these kind of information it's essential for project table right and uh, even i have to include that the name of the project head in that project a table even the project head it's also part of that project table right here i have list out project id project name duration starting date ending date project head and delivery date now i am going to add the type of each attribute here always the students you have to think about that if you are drawing any kind of diagram it's not mean that either it's exactly correct or not so here how that diagram it will be helpful for your implementation phase so that's it's also very very important when you are drawing that er diagram how that er diagram or how that the list of entities and the attributes it will be helpful to develop our project in a better way always we have to think about in such a way based on that only we have to list out all the uml diagrams in your project right so the diagram it shows that the blueprint of your project so always we have to give some kind of the meaningful statement for each phase right so once if the er diagram is over as a employee or as a developer or as a database Uh, that is analyst or database developer they can get the clear information about how many tables we have to create what kind of the attributes we have to list out what's the length of each attribute or what kind of the relationship we have to create for between each table so all the information the developer can understand with the help of the diagram itself so that's the the main part of any kind of diagram right so the next entity name is it's a salary as i have mentioned as a salary is a basic pay da hra medical allowance and the education allowance for the children's education that's a child education allowance so these kind of attributes i have list out in the salary table once you completed your diagram so that diagram it gives the complete information about how to design the database or how many the entities we have list out here and the relationship between that each a table it must be it's very clear now just i will mention the the type of each attribute in the salary table just i make it as double so the reason is maybe as your the salary package in that form of either decimal point right the next entity is a leave it's a part of an employee right so as a leave as we know that uh, the the employee id who is going to take the leave leave id is a part of 
uh, that is attribute and which date an employee going to take the leave number of days so this kind of information we have to use it in the leave table right so here leave id and who is going to take the particular day or avail that leave it's an employee id followed by leave date so it means that it's a starting date right and the next one uh, it's called as a number of days right and reason for the leave we have to mention in the software right so here this kind of information i have list out in the leave table leave id is an integer employee id is also part of integer and we know that uh, the leave date we have to use a date data type and the employee id as a foreign key leave date number of uh, days just i can make it as an integer the reason for the leave is it's an worker right just you think about that what kind of the inputs you are going to give for each variable or each attribute then you can easily guess that so what's the type of your data right for example even sometimes the id just i mentioned all the places as an integer right it's not mean that uh, the id always it could be as uh, that uh, the whole number right even for example uh, we have that the staff id along with that uh, some kind of the numbers that letters followed by some kind of numbers it's alpha numeric right so such kind of times even that uh, the id itself we have to mention as a worker right so if we are using only that the numbers alone just i mentioned as a integer i mention the salary table that one more attribute name is a salary id right now almost uh, i completed all the entities that's a employee department salary project leave right the next step we have to use the the relationship among each table salary table also we need that uh, the employee id right all the table always it have some kind of relationships right so either the employee it's connected with salary leave an employee is associated with the department and he or she going to do some kind of projects right now i will create the relationship between the table from employee to department and employee how that is one one to many that is zero to many or department they may involve it's called as one to many and the next one for the department to project it's the many to many we have many department and even we are not going to do only one project we have multiple projects right so that's why i mentioned as that is a many to many relationship between department and projects at last we are going to add that uh, the text for each relationship and the next one it's employee to salary just i make it as one to many and the next one it's an employee to leave here i mentioned as again one to many 
an employee can take zero to many leave right If you want to add a few more, uh, that is entities uh, for your employee management system, you can add it over here. So as of now, we have added, uh, there are uh, five entities. It's an employee, department, project, salary and leave, right? Now just I will add that the related text to four each relationship an employee how one one too many it means that uh, an employee one employee it's associated with zero to many department even sometimes why we are going to make it as zero to many even uh, during the training period as an employee it's not supposed to be a part of any kind of department they are in the uh, the training period they will not appoint as you the separate department for an employee so that's why even we can call it as which is called as a zero to many right an employee works in a department and the next one department have zero to many from both sides So here is, uh, this is the common term as an employee management system. Uh, even depends upon the organization, the type of entity and the relationship between the entities, it will also differ, right? The next one, the relationship between employee and salary, we have one, one to many, right? So here sometimes even that the employee it's not supposed to get the salary so during that time we have to mention that the zero to many right the employee going to get the salary just to add some kind of the meaningful statement to represent the relationship between each table And the employee to leave, it's a one too many. Employee can take a leave. If the employee is not uh, taking a leave, it means that uh, it's a null value, right? If an employee can take from zero to many leave. That's why we call it as which is called as a zero to many or one to many. And one employee can take either from zero to many leaves they can avail, right? So this is the complete information about the employee management system and if you need to add few more attributes for the the project for example if you want to mention that the specific domain for your project or for example if you want to add uh, that is the production or manufacturing if you want to add that the sub table for the department even you can add that kind of the tables along with that you can create the relationship between them right i hope this information is helpful for you all thank you thanks for watching